everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video is actually a really requested one because I get asked all the time if it's you guys in the comments or people I see in real life asking me how tall are all my horses. Now, obviously I have a rough idea for most of them. However, since we've got Duke, he's i think has grown a little bit and i don't think he's i don't know if he's ever officially been measured and since we've got joey because i did get him as a five-year-old i feel like he's grown a bit since then as well especially when i do things like photo shoots or my friends come and see him they're always like oh my goodness is he taller compared to when i last saw him so i feel like he's finally got to the stage where he might have stopped growing now because he is seven but anyway i thought you know i would go online buy a measuring stick. I looked at the prices and I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna buy a measuring stick for that much. So did a bit of Googling, had a little bit of research and I thought, you know what? I am not gonna make life easy for myself because I'm gonna make one. Um, so the plan is for today is to make a horse measuring stick, measure all my horses. Let me know in the comments below exactly what height you think they're gonna be in hands. I know in some countries people use centimeters, but over here in the UK, a lot of people use hands, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, because yeah, we measure horses in hands, which is sounds a little strange, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But anyway, I need to go to my local DIY store to grab some bits. We're now here. Let's go to the DIY store. It would help if I turned my car off first. <laughs> I have found the pipes. Right, everybody i'm now back in the car i've spent under like four or five pounds to do this diy so that's great it's nice and cheap and cheerful but also um i have my waist pipe here it's very long it kind of is in the, in the boot and then it goes it goes yeah all the way along all the way along so it's gonna be an interesting drive home no it's fine it'll be fine it might just move around a bit but i'll see you guys when i'm back home I'm now back from the DIY store and I bought two things. I have some 32 millimeter waste pipe that I bought for two pounds 40. Um, and I also have a 90 degree T piece and I bought this for one pound. Um, so if we convert that into dollars, this project is way under $5. So it's a nice, cheap and cheerful uh, DIY project. Now, when we're measuring horses, as I said before, we don't measure it in inches. We don't measure it in feet. Uh, I understand some European countries use centimeters and are a lot more sensible compared to us, but we measure horses in hands. So I actually did some research. I have a very long waist pipe here. Um, the shortest one I could buy was three meters. So if you back up a little bit, you can really kind of see how long it is. It's taller than me, taller than the stables. In comparison, I'm five foot six around that sort of height. So yeah, it is quite tall. We might need to give it a little bit of a chop. Um, now I would take it over to the workbench that we have, but it's quite far away and I'm not gonna lie, it's quite messy. So I thought I'm gonna make my own, maybe I have some haylage bales so I can do my DIY project here at the stables. So I'm gonna go and grab that now. <laughs> Ta-da! 
we now have an improvised workbench. It goes to show that a Silvermore haylage can be used for multiple different purposes. But anyway, um, I actually got very curious while doing this project because I wanted to know how tall the tallest horse ever was. And it was one called Samson, and he was a Shire horse, I believe, who was 21.2 hands in the Guinness Book of Records, which is pretty tall. To my rough calculations, um, the three meter waste pipe would be around just over 29 hands. Now, uh, we don't have any horses around here that are gonna be 29 hands. Like, I can, I can kind of roughly guess, but I want to know exactly. So, I'm gonna grab a measuring tape, do some measuring, and then it's time to give this waste pipe a little bit of a saw because we really don't need it to be this long. I now have my measuring tape. I'm gonna do some measuring and I'm gonna measure two meters because I feel like that's definitely high enough. So that's like, what, 19 and a bit hands? Rough guesstimate. Um, where are we, where are we? Along we go, along we go. Here we have it, two meters. And then just doing my little mark. There we go. Now I've cut this down to a more appropriate size. The next thing to talk about is the tea piece. Now, when you buy this from a local DIY store or wherever you get it from, uh, there's actually a bit of a lip on the inside and that's because it's designed to uh, make a watertight seal. Now, um, what I've done with a half rounded file is file the inside because what we want is for this to nicely fit on top and slide about. So we can use it as a measuring stick. So. I'm just gonna pop this on now. And um, I'm actually pretty proud of how well I filed it because it's enough that it kind of stays up, but then also I can still slide it relatively easily. Um, but we've come to a little bit of an issue. Now that is, I need to put all the measurements on the stick. Now uh, I'm gonna get another bit of pipe, pop it in here. Um, we're gonna be putting the bottom of this bit on top of the horse's withers, but we're not going to be able to see the measurements under here. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is getting the measurements <laughs> of the tea piece, taking it off the bottom. So that means that when I can actually read it from the line here, even though the horse's withers will be here, if that makes sense. So I'm going to grab my Sharpie, do some measurements, and I will be back when this is looking a little bit more like a measuring stick. So this is the tricky bit because I need to measure it from here across to here so mine is two inches yours might be different um, so i'm going to take that off the bottom when i do my measurements so a hand is measured from here to here um, it's actually four inches so i thought i'd measure my hand and uh, see exactly what it is that is just over three inches maybe 3.1 inches i was like almost bang on three actually but uh, yeah, obviously horse people from the past had bigger hands than me. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna be measuring my measuring stick now. I've actually got a Sharpie that I'm gonna be using or a permanent marker to make sure that um, it doesn't wipe off the pipe. So I better do it right first time, because if not, um, yeah, we don't want incorrect measurements on the pipe. <laughs> So I have my measuring tape and because one hand is four inches, we need to go up in four inches. However, the first hand, we need to take away two for the two inches on the tea piece or whatever your measurement was. So I'm gonna do a little mark here at two inches. So that is my first hand. And then from here on out, we need to go up by four. So two plus four is six. So where the six inches is on here, that is gonna be two hands. And then obviously going up again by four. So we have 10 for three hands. And then we have 14 for four hands and then so on and so on. So I'm currently just putting a slightly bigger mark on it so that it's easier to read, but I also need to start putting numbers on them so I actually know what these measurements are. That's a bit dirty. Excuse the dirtiness, guys. Let's just clean that off. Um, so I'm now 
putting the numbers on. I'm trying to do this as neatly as I possibly can. Obviously, like if you were doing a proper measuring thing, you'd probably want to put the units in, so put hands, but um, I'm lazy and I also know that it's in hands, so it's also less to write on. Okay, we now have the hands on here. However, you might hear a lot of people be like, oh, my pony is like 14.2 or my horse is 16.1. Um, so the second number after it's after the decimal point, that is how many inches they are after the hand. So my guess is that Joey's 16.1, I think. I'm guessing around that. So we're gonna have to put the inches on here now. So then, um, we can be a little bit more specific because I know that you guys all want to know and I want to know exactly how tall my horses are. Because I'm a little bit lazy, I feel like I'm not going to put the inches on the lower ones because I'm not going to be measuring, what, a guinea pig, maybe a chicken, a dog in hands. Um, so I'll probably start at around eight, nine, putting the inches on because that's that could be used for like minis, small, creatures i don't know i feel like that's sort of a good good height to start with but um yeah i'm i probably didn't need to do it to 19 hands because i don't think i'll ever get a 19 hand horse if i do future esme what are you doing with your life um but anyway no i um i'll put the inches on and i'll see you guys when i've done that okay guys here it is the finished measuring stick thought i'd measure myself i'm around 16, 16, three? Yeah, one, two, three. So yeah, I'm around 16, three for bonus points. You could put a spirit level on this top bit here. But with horses, you don't measure them from their head. You measure them from their withers. So that is the tallest point along their back. Uh, but also, uh, you don't measure them from their head because as you guys know, Joey sometimes goes in giraffe mode and he'll put his head really high up or sometimes when he's eating he has it nice down and low. So uh, I thought the first horse we'll measure or pony will be Duke because um, he's small and I thought we'd do smallest first and I am really curious to see what he is. He's over here now and he he's in field condition which basically means he's been out in the field, has rolled and is very dirty. So I think Duke might be a little bit curious. A little bit curious, George, hey? Do you want to have a little sniff at the, at the pole? Come nice and gently and do some pressure and release. So I'm not going to put much pressure on him. I'm going to let him come to it if he wants to sniff it. You're okay. You're okay. Yes, do you want to come and sniff it? You can take one step forwards. Good boy, Duke. Do you want to sniff it? Nice and gentle. Yeah! It's a stick. Hey, good boy. You're okay. Do you want me to take it away? Look, I'll be in between you and the stick. Hey. Good boy. You're okay. Rather scary looking contraption, isn't it? I like the treats. I quite like I quite like some treats. Oh, dropped it. Wait. So I quite like the treats, but I'm not sure about this thing. There we go. Look, it's not scary, it's a good thing. Because you like treats. So Duke wasn't the biggest fan of the measuring stick, but I really don't blame him. He's a baby and um, it's all very new and scary, isn't it? To be fair, he wasn't bothered by it when I gave him some treats and we did manage to measure him, but not on camera because you needed lots of fuss and attention, didn't you? You wanted lots of treats. And he was actually pretty good for like a few seconds. I managed to get a measurement and he is 10 hands or 10.1 hands 
So he, that's, that's actually smaller than I thought because um, I think Wild Horse Welfare told me that he's around 11 hands or maybe like his like fully grown will be 11 hands. I'm not sure, but it was around sort of there. So he's actually smaller than I expected. So well done, Duke. Are you a good boy for being measured? Yes. Should we pop you back out in the field and get Mickey? Yeah. Good boy. There we go. Good man. Come on through, Mickey. No, we're not going to your stable. <laughs> Come on, look, I've got some haylage here for you. Yeah, there we go. Again, excuse the dirty pones that we have here, but um, his rug kind of keeps him clean, fairly clean. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, I'd say that's, that's pretty, pretty level, would you say? Does that look level? Yeah? Okay. Mickey, you're 13-1. Well done, congratulations. Good boy. I always thought Mickey was 13 hands, so he's, I guess he's like a tiny bit bigger than we expected. Yes, 13-1, hey? Good man, enjoy your haylage, yeah. I'm also gonna just do a quick bit of a little check on Mickey because he does have a skin condition, especially this time of year. He suffers with it a little bit more, so I'm just gonna get some of his special cream and put them in the areas where he's a little bit more sensitive. Good boy, yes. Mwah. Good man. So uh, Mickey isn't a bigger fan of this. Uh, we do this every couple of days. Um, but So we do like a little check and make sure how, see how it's doing. So it's okay, Mickey, it's okay. Oh, good boy. Good boy standing still on the very sensitive bit on your flank. Oh, I know it's tickly. It's tickly, isn't it, boy? Yeah, good boy. Well done. It's just the cream. You're giving it a sniff. You're giving it a sniff. There we go. Are there any bits here? Oh, they look like they're not doing too badly now. Yeah? Good man. All right, I'm just gonna do Mickey's rug up now, put him out in the field, and then the next horse is Casper that we need to measure. All right, Mr. Caspi, come on up. It's your time to shine. Guys, it's always the days that I film videos that the horses decide, you know what? I'm going to make myself as dirty as possible, so apologies in advance for the state of my ponies in today's video. Anyway, I'm going to whip off his rugs and grab the measuring stick. Casper is actually the only horse that has been officially measured out of all of them. Uh, we actually did a video with the British Horse Society where we measured him and he was 15 hands, so this is kind of more of a test to see if my measuring stick is accurate. But uh, there we go. First of all, Casper, he's got food. He does not care about the measuring stick, unlike uh, Duke, but I really don't blame Duke. He's only a baby. Anyway, uh, of course, when you're measuring a horse, make sure you're on a flat surface. That will help with your accuracy. But anyway, let's, let's see. I've got it on 15 hands. That looks pretty, pretty level. Like bang on, bang on 15 hands. Well, that was easy. Well done, Caspi. That was easy. <laughs> that was really quick. There we go. Let's put your ruggy back on then, mate. Okay, I'm just gonna half slip his rug off like I did with Casper because it's a little bit chilly today. But also, um, yeah, he's really dirty. They both are, oh my goodness. So here's the, here's the thing, because I'm just like a tiny, I'm a bit taller than his withers. If I go like that, then we're about the same height. So yeah, moment of truth, Joey. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yeah. Yeah, that's... He's definitely not 16, because that's like bending the pole upwards. So we put up 16-1. Uh, 
That's pretty level. He's 16-1. So there you go, guys. Joey is 16-1 hands. Well done, mate. That's like perfect height. Perfect height for me. <laughs> So that was actually really interesting seeing how tall they all are because Duke is way smaller than I expected him to be. Mickey was about bang on. I felt like he was, yeah, around 13 hands, 13 one. Casper, we already knew. He's 15 hands. He was pretty bang on on that as well. And then Joey, um, yeah, he was kind of what I expected. When I bought him, they advertised him as like, 15, 3, 16 hands, like kind of in the middle, like 15, 3 to make 16 hands. So he has actually grown like a bit since I've got him. So that explains the period of time where he, I felt like he grew and then he didn't really know where his legs were and it took a while to coordinate them. And now he's stopped growing, but he looks bigger because he's chunking out. He's getting all this muscle. So um, yeah, well done, Joey. Good boy. Um, yeah, Joey and Casper were really good with the measuring stick. Uh, Mickey was fine. He was just a bit curious and then obviously Duke's a little baby. He was a bit confused But yeah, let's get this back on your bum. Keep you warm, mister Yeah, enjoying your haylitch Good man So there we have it guys. Duke is 10 one hands. Mickey is 13 one hands uh, Casper is 15 hands and Joey is 16 one hands, which I feel like they all kind of go up almost equally kind of not really but they're they're a nice range of heights so anyway guys let me know if you got it right in the comments um your guesses of how tall my horses were and yeah let me know if you have a go at making a horse measuring stick um hopefully my instructions were clear enough but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or haven't done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Now, um, could I go online and buy myself a horse measuring sh <coughs> <Blooper>. <laughs> But I'm probably not gonna, oh, I've just dropped my Sharpie.